What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Vol Pro Scooters. We really wanted to showcase everybody who works here's scooter. So this is gonna be a scooter check with everybody who works here because we know you guys are curious what exactly we're all riding. So we're gonna start with me and then we're gonna gradually pull more people in here and talk about their setup. So starting with my scooter. Starting off at the top, I have the Envy Aluminum Bar Ends. These were released this year and I love aluminum bar ends. When I saw Envy had some coming out, I had to cop them. Moving on to my grips, these are the Native Emblem Grips. These are the most comfortable grips I've ever ridden and I absolutely love them. I have the TV Titanium T-Bar in the satin black colorway. When I saw these came in, I knew I had to get them. Moving down to my SCS, I was actually lucky enough to be given this SCS by the owner of Tilt, Colin. If you don't know, this is the Tilt Rigid SCS. It was released along with the Tilt Rigid Fork here, but little Easter egg here, I have this line going through my SCS. The actual production models did not have it. So this SCS is actually a prototype, so it has this little line here, so I have one of the only ones that has this line, but it's a cool little Easter egg to me. But the Rigid SCS has been amazing, and since it's kind of made to be taller and allow tie bars not to slip, I have had no problems with my tie bar slipping. So Colin, if you're seeing this, did a great job. Moving down, I do have two headset covers here. I needed a headset spacer, but I didn't want to do that whole ugly thing with headset spacers, so I just did another desk cover here, and it makes this really nice transition into the Ethic Linworm V3 box deck. Hands down, my favorite deck. I rode the normal Ethic Linworm V3 with pegs, and when I heard there was a box one coming out, I absolutely knew I had to have it, and here it is. I read the 5.5 5 by 22, just in case you guys are curious as well. I do have a brakeless pad. Uh, there's a little bit of room here from the wheel to the pad just because the deck is made for 12 standard and I'm riding 110s, but um, I didn't want to have to drill it out for a fender or ride a brake, so the brakeless pad works perfectly fine. One of the last things, and honestly one of my favorites, is the grip tape. This is my signature grip tape. I absolutely love it. It's beaten up, it's got holes in it, um, but of course I am gonna represent my product. And moving on to the last part, which is the newest part, is the Tommy Christiana Meta Wheels. And when we're filming this video, I'm assuming this will come out later, these wheels aren't even out when I'm filming this video. So once again, thank you Tilt and thank you Meta for not only giving me the prototype SCS, but also allowing me to ride the wheels before they came out as well. Tommy, if you're watching it, man, I love these wheels. The colorway is great. And once again, if you guys want to pick up a pair, I highly recommend them. So that is my scooter. That's what I'm riding every time I pull up to the skate park. So I'm gonna go ahead, pass it on to the next person. Hi, what's up guys? I'm Andy Peterson. I'm just gonna roll you through my scooter real quick. So at the top, got the Odyssey par ends, best par ends in the game, hands down. Uh, on the grips, rocking the native uh, emblem grips. Nothing beats them. The tilt sentry bars. You know, I came in the shop, had to get them, had to give them a try. Loving them so far. For the SCS, running SCS compression. Got the, uh, oh my God, what's it called? I don't know the name of it. I don't know the name of it. It's the tilt, <laughs> I don't know the name of it. Awesome, what's the name of this? What's the Rigid SES. The Rigid SES. It's the Tilt Rigid SES. Who influenced you to get that? It was Austin. For the deck, got the 5522 Lucid deck. It's the silver one, but I painted it. No, didn't like the silver. Like the black better. So the fork, it's gonna be a Aztec Anthem fork. And for the wheels, we have the Plasmas. These are the Zach Martin SIGs. And we're dropping the Aztec Lucid Fender on there, of course. And for the grip tape, we're in the Tilt Dylan Casting grip tape. Loving it. So that's my setup. Hope you guys like it. Let's get the next person in here. All right, you guys pretty much know who I am. If you don't, my name is Walter, and this is my scooter check. So I'm gonna start from the back. Everybody likes to start from the top. I'm gonna start from the back. I got the Ethic 12 standard wheels. These things are amazing. If you love carving bowls and doing crazy, like going fast and all that stuff, 12 standard. It has a bigger bearing, it's super sick. I got the Ethic V4, like plastic brake. I don't run fenders, I don't like fenders. I like, if I need to tap my brake, I like having it there. Fenders, I just don't like that feeling. The deck, I have the Ethic Linworm V3 box deck. I have the biggest one you can get. It is 5.5 by 23 long. I love it. The grip tape I have is gonna be Flick Black Grip Tape with white mob, no, I think it's Black Mob Grip Tape and Flick White. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So it's Black Mob Grip Tape and then Flick White Grip Tape. I cut it out, made the little Chanel drip logo. You know, you guys know what I'd be doing now. In the front, I have the same wheel as I do in the back, obviously, is the 12 standard wheel. It is 125 millimeters by 30 wide. Huge, fat, big boy bearings. And then I have the Ethic 12 standard Legion fork. I don't know, I really like the way this fork looks. It's flush, it's smooth. I don't know, it looks pretty. And then up here, I got the Ethic silicone headset. It's pretty nice. And then I got the Tilt SCS. Um, my clamp, I think, is straight. No, my clamp is so crooked. 
I have to take my scooter apart because I have subs in my trunk and if I put my scooter in there, I have to have it apart. So I, when I put it back together, I don't really care. I just throw it on. So my clamp's crooked, don't, don't judge. I got the Tilt SCS clamp and then these bad boys right here. I have the Ethic Titanium Vegas bars. These bars are super sick, super light. Shout out to Auguste. You know, you hooked me up with these and I love these bars so much. Um, you guys are probably like, ew, Walter's bars are dirty. So I travel a lot and when I travel, the lady at the airport, literally like the claim baggage sticker, she peeled it off and just rubbed it on. In my head, I was like, mm. but you know, it happens. So those are the bars, they are oversized. I think I'm running, I'm at like 27 tall by 23 wide. The top, I have the Ethic Foam Grips. Uh, Auguste, you put me on these grips and ever since then I've always like loved them when I rode your scooter. I was like, man, these are sick. So that's all I ride now. I only ride Ethic Foam Grips. They're super nice, super soft. And then I have to finish it off the ODI aluminum bar ends too. Cause if you have titanium bars, you need to have an aluminum bar end. So it adds the weight at the top. So your bars like spin around and stuff like that. But there you guys have it. And that's my scooter check. And I will see you guys next time. All right, what's up vault fams? Dalton over here, the vault employee. This is my scooter check guys. Starting from the top, we got these unreleased ODI hybrid bar ends. I had to cop them. You know, my boss, man, uh, Nicole, you know, she, she was just like, you want, you want some? And I was like, why not? Got some fusion grips, all in black. They're amazing grips, not too thick, not too thin, just what I like. We got the tilt hybrid bars right here. They're the bend ones, not the T's, not the scouts, all right? Get that one. And then going moving down, we got this proto clamp. It's old clamp, you don't really see them too much. It's the Martini signature. It's the mini one, not the big one. Moving down, the headset, although it does say it's a tilt headset cap, I have a vault velocity headset inside. You always gotta rock the vault product, you know? Going down, you know, keep going. We got this beautiful Lewis Opal deck, it's a midnight blue. It's about 5.5 wide, 22 and a half long. It's perfect, just my size. And then on the grip, it's a little custom grip tape job, some purple, some black grip tape, and then a little bit of Dragon Ball Z stuff and some North grip tape right in the back, just spice it up a little bit. Tilt wheels, tilt X friendly, beautiful wheels. I've ridden them for, I don't know how long now, they're amazing. Beautiful poppin' gold fork, tilt Nimbus fork. It's the way to go, always gotta go with tilt. And then. You know, I don't, I don't really like brakes, so I decided to cop myself a Trinity spoiler fender. Don't like to use my brakes my manual, so I'd rather have my foot right here instead of hitting the wheel. And that's about it. I mean, I, other than that, I just got some rusty bolts here and there, but you know, just remember, keep your bolts nice and greased up, kids, all right? We can, you know, get moving, get the next guy going in so we can check out a new scooter. How's it going, guys? Bethel from the Volpro Scooters, and I'm here today to give you a scooter check. So let's start from the top. I uh, have one block and one block in red fusion grip, personally my favorite. And then we have the TriCast bars. Uh, I just got these from Native, just put them on. Uh, they're brand new as of yesterday, loving them. Moving down to the SES, we have the Native Orca SES in the black and silver colorway, as well as that sitting on the Native Advent V2. Originally this was a silver and then I painted it black, it went back to silver. On top of that, we have uh, just a whole bunch of grip tape that I put on this morning. For the wheels, we're rocking the Proto, I believe they are grippers, just black on black. Um, a little bit old, so they're not, they're not looking uh, too pretty. We have the Flavor Boris fork, just uh, plain black. Um, and lastly, we have the Brandon Kilberry carbon fiber fender, uh, which I really love. All right, as you can see, I'm rocking a lot of native. Uh, I really vibe with them heavy. Love their parts, they feel really great. Um, but yeah, that's uh, all for today. I'll pass it on to the next guys. It's Josh Toy here. Figured I'd be giving you guys a walkthrough of my scooter. And we're starting at the top. Hella grip bar ends. Going into the Odyssey Brock Rayford grips. We got Raptor Chromoly T-bars. Coming down to the clamp, we've got the Imperial SCS unreleased. Shout out to Dustin Nooner for the hookup on that. Headset, we're running the Proto Integratron. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I don't, Integratron, right? Integratron. Proto headset. We've got the Ethic Nemesis Fork. The Hang 5 Tristan Anderman signature wheel. Shout out to Rob over at Hang 5 for the hookup on that as well. And then the big boy, that's not so big, but Proto Space Deck V2 in all black. Big shout out to Andrew Broussard for the hookup on that as well, because I was out of deck for a few months, so. Gotta have a scooter. On top of the space deck, we've got a cut-in design of Helligrip Sloth Dot with Hella Sharp. Handed that myself, thought it would be a cool little design. And then I have a root brake. Once again, shout out to Clayton Lindley on the hookup for that brake. 
I cut it down though because it's a little absurd like how long it is. But yeah, that's pretty much my entire scooter. Now we all know this is the best scooter out of them all, but I've got to give a shot to the rest of the guys at the shop. So uh, I'm going to kick it over to the next guy. And last but not least, we got Grape Gang here, you know, Sean Cardwell. Uh, no stranger to the YouTube, but let's check out this scoop. If you've been following me, you've known for about the last year and a half with my scooters been, and in the last two weeks, we actually got something different here. Starting at the bottom here, we have the Andrew Zamora SIG deck. I spent a lot of time thinking about which deck to change to. I wanted to try the little wheels out again, because, you know, why not? I, I missed the pegs a little bit, but this is pretty fun right now. And it's so fresh that most of the graphic is uh, still there, you know? It's only a couple sessions deep liking it. There's some stuff I would personally change, but you know, had to support my boy when I when I went back down to small wheels. Speaking of the small wheels, we're running AO Quadrum wheels, the prints on the other side. I gotta say for like about 40 bucks for a pair of wheels, not bad, ton of cool colors so you can keep it going. Bad grip tape job in true Sean fashion. And uh, I got the trippy grip tape and I cut it in two spots, found a sliver that I thought would look cool and then actually rotated it just because, you know, Thought it'd be fun. The fork I'm running is actually an RG125. Yeah, from Epic Scooters. Big throwback there. I had it spare. There was an issue with the, the bolt that I couldn't run, and luckily my Ethic fork uh, rested in peace. It, it broke, hence the change. That bolt fit perfectly, so now I'm riding that. And of course, you know, vault velocity headset, always in black. Keep it nice. Little five mil spacer there, because the fork was really long, even with this full-size Proto SES in the pink, and it just keeps fading and fading. I'm loving it. And uh, the bars, you know I gotta run oversized titanium T-bars from the Vault Pro scooters. Not sure on the height. Uh, the width is 23. Thinking about maybe going to 22. Andrew Zamora's definitely wearing off on me. Every time I ride a scooter, it feels great, and I just want my scooter to feel like his. And then uh, the grips I'm running are the, I think, Metra? Meta? They're not Meta, Meta's the other. I think they're Metra. Yeah, go ahead and flay me. I'm gonna commit to Metra, and by commit, I mean, pretty sure I'm wrong. It's like an ODI, it's squishy, but not too bulky, and they're not too long, because I keep choking up when I'm riding, like all my favorite riders, and uh, with like the Epic Grips and the Native, I end up right here, and I'm like, okay, why am I there? And with tie bars, I always do aluminum bar ends to just get a little bit more weight for bar spins, and Look at that, that's my full setup that's actually changed. Isn't that crazy? Maybe I'll be back on 12 standard, who knows? Check it out next season. All right, so that's what the Vault Crew is riding. Let us know down below whose setup is your favorite. Super interested in seeing who you guys pick. Also, drop a comment letting us know what you guys are riding. We wanna know what your guys' setup is. Make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe to the Vault, check us out on all our social medias, and tune in for weekly uploads. I'll see you guys later.